to do this. Welcome, game <coughs> game developers, to Doug Teacher's UE5. Yes. I'm gonna show insane heroes. I will at the end of this video. So what are we gonna do? Are you even gonna continue on with the Nario clone thing? Nah, I can't, cause honest in all honesty, kinda forgot where I was. <laughs> besides <coughs> Oh that felt besides I'm pretty sure that fell out of a lot of people's memories. Uh top that off, like some of the thing I'm gonna try to balance because I'm still hardcore game devving. Anyway, um rant aside, uh let's just do landscape. So what? So what are we gonna? You're making a new level. Yeah, we're gonna start off with basic, not open world. God, I hate that open world thing. That thing looks so stupid. Mm. And then what we're gonna do? <sighs> Type in first person. Yeah, first person. Yes, BP first person. Boom. So when the level starts, we want to possess this dude. Why? Uh, later. What? What? What's this? Okay. What are you going to do here? First, we're gonna call. I'm gonna call this. I'll just call it open world. Get a reference. And we're gonna possess this cat. So what? What are we gonna do here? Are you? Is there gonna be any combat? No, we're not gonna be doing any combat tutorials. Essentially, this open world is gonna have some terrain. We're gonna plant some stupid meshes, or rather, we're gonna BSP model some sh some stupid stuff, and we're gonna have like NPC dialogue. That is it. I, oh, really? Yeah. We'll we'll have different. Like I'll show off how how multiple classes can borrow from the same tree, the uh, behavior tree. Anyway, so let's get player. Controller. <clears throat> uh, no, we're gonna possess this cat. Possess. I don't know if I ever made a pause button. I don't think you did in any of your tutorials. Uh, yeah, that's because it uses escape. So, anyway, so how, so how landscape is gonna work? It, it, like, it, obviously, like you guys have seen landscaping before. Difference is, I'm actually going to use spline spline roads in a different layer. But first, let's get the let's let's just get some stuff out. So, when we're in select mode, you want to click on where it says select mode. And scroll down to where it says landscape. Now, obviously, I'm going to bring down the land. I'll bring the landscape down afterward. But first, let me see where how much how big of a thing this encompasses. There's not going to be any combat. I don't want there to be. Well. If people ask, it, it, first of all, like, comment, and subscribe, but, like, if if you want combat, I mean, I'll try to figure something out, because, like, ugh. Because I gotta show off, I'm gonna show off this and the project my boss wants. I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna name it off my boss's project, because, ugh. It's still proprietary, at the very least. All I can tell, uh, I'll, I'll show that off, too. Anyway, uh, let's... It, if you want to alter, first of all, if you want to fill it up, you can. You can fill the world with it. I mean, I'm not going to, uh, so I'm just going to uh, go into these two areas. You know, like, you want to focus on, uh, squarely, specifically on the on this little area right here. Why? Okay, so, cause I have, I'm still on my temporary glasses. Uh, you see where it says size? You can do, like, if you do 256 by 256 quads... Holy crap! Yeah. I don't know if I can see it in any of the viewports. In any of the... In the wireframe viewport. I'm gonna find out. Uh... This is back. I have to make this top. Oh, I can. Holy crap! That's a huge chunk. So... There's 127 by 127. I'm just gonna make it... That. That's... Hella small. Oh yeah, but... First of all, I'm getting I'm gonna get the views that I'm used to. So this is front. and your left and your perspective. Why do you use those few ports? Why, why don't you just stick with one? Ah, I'm on, call me an idiot. Anyway, okay, idiot. 
Um, let's say you're not happy with this selection. If you go with 2x2, you'll see that the grid has actually changed a bunch. Let me, let me, zoom, out. Let me zoom out. Why does the grid change matter? Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's how. Here's how. I'm not gonna call it terrain. I'll call it. I'll try calling it landscape as much as I can. Let me break down the whole grid bits. What this does is you. The reason why you see such a difference in how many faces there are when I go back to two by two, then that means your landscape won't be as detailed. But at the same time, it won't take up as much render time. So take from that what you will, and then you can add or, or shrink it down. As you can see, I'm shrinking this thing down. Ow. Okay. Yeah. But you can only have that max. And... So yeah, I am going to just make it. I'll do thirty-one. I'll even, I'll even think that. <sighs> Once we're satisfied with the landscape, we are going to create it. So let's click create. Now, we have a lot of options to work with, but right now I do want to texture this thing. But first let me get rid of this floor type deal, because it's in the way. So I'm going to go back into select mode, because that's the only way you can do it. Otherwise, if you try clicking on it, you're going to, you're going to be um, editing your landscape. So, nope, no place actors. Select. And then I'm just gonna go. I just said lag. It does that, so it does that. I'm gonna delete this. Uh, what? Ow. Wait, what happened? Well, don't worry if you see that, because it's landscape. It's, it only has a one sided texture. Ow. So, how do we fix that? Well, you can make it two sided. How do, how do we do that? Well, we're gonna texture the landscape right now. See how, you, how landscapes work is you can't just plop a texture on it, right? You actually need, you, you can't just plop a material, you can plop a material on it, but you need a special specialized type of material. What do you mean? Oh, uh, do I have, do I have any textures? Do I not have any textures? I think the tutorials that you focused on were purely, like, minimal. Ah, uh, crap. Crap! Funnel cake? Oh, son of a, okay. So how the hell are we going to do this? I'll create a new folder. I'll call this 2D Textures. And then I'm going to import some textures. Where? Uh, well, I'm going to import my own personal t uh, the, uh, textures. Mm. Yeah, I'll, go with, I'll go with ground. I'm just going to import them all. Boom. Yeah, it's fine. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, t a material for this thing. So I'm going to click on... I'm going to right-click in my material... I'm going to right-click in my asset browser, click on material, and I'll just call this landscape... Matte. And... I'm going to drag all of these textures... Well, no, just the diffuse. I don't need the normals. Uh, you. No! Ah! You. Yeah. I don't need the normals. I just need these. Let's grab, click, drag. Drag them in. And what we need. Oh, this is actually a clone. Wait, they're the same, they're the same two textures. Okay, we'll get rid of one. I really should get another texture. Nah, we're fine with this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just grab this RGB. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say landscape layer. It's it's layer blend. I'm gonna go back to landscape. I think it's either a it layer switch or weight. I'm gonna try. Nope. I thought it. Landscape. 
player blend. Ah, uh, there's nothing in it. Well, yeah, because we actually have to add stuff to it. See this little uh, array where it says layers? I'm going to hit that plus sign. And we're going to do it two more times. Boop, boop. Now, the thing is, you can't actually, you can't have it be named none. You have to actually give it a name. So I'll just call this one grass. And then in layer two, I'll call this grass two. And what's the third layer? Um, dirt? Okay. In the third layer, I'll just call this dirt. And then what we can do is we can plug this in. Plug this in a U, plug this in a U, and then plug this in to U, obviously. Then what we do is we take this and plug it in. Nothing's happening. Well, yeah, that's, trust me, that it's fine. It's not, nothing's supposed to happen. Because it doesn't know, because it, it has to be applied. Because it knows it's a layer. It's Because this, it knows this is a layer, um, uh, landscape layer stuff. For This is for landscape. So it's going to be like, okay, when we apply this material to our landscape, it'll be like, what's the first layer? Oh, it's this one. So it'll, so we'll see the grass. Why don't we see it in here? Like I said, it's fine. So I'm just going to hit X. I'm going to save this down. And now, click on the landscape. We do, what we do now is we take, we grab our newly uh, made landscape, and then we plug it in here. Wait, what? Material, wait, what? Wait, what? in. Material landscape missing required material parameters. Check log details? What the, what the fuck? What the hell? Wait, what does that say? Flat? What are you talking about? That's not... What the hell was that? I don't know. Land. Why is it going? Wait, what? Flattened material. The fuck is that? I don't know. Why is it going? I have no idea why it's saying like go to. Okay. All right. Don't panic, Doug. What a way to start things off. Fuck you. Uh, do I, what did I call it? Did I call it textures. What did I call my thing? Wait, where am I? I'm going to all. And there's content. 2D textures. I'm going to call this something else. Uh, I'll just say stuff. Let's try that. What the f- Pause the recording? Maybe that or I'm going to have to close it and reopen Unreal. Oh, let's do that. Be right back. Good lord, I'm a fucking moron. What happened? Was, it was, I was in the world settings panel, not the details panel. I was like, the hell is wrong? This is how you do it? I fucking god, I'm an idiot. So we take this and we drag it into here. Oh my god, what a fucking moron I am. How are you going to have a point? Well, you want, how do we... Wait. How do we apply, like, m normal maps and stuff like that? <sighs> Fine. Take these... in here. Uh-huh. And then we just duplicate. Oh, really? Yeah, we duplicate. We could have... We could literally just plug them in. And then put that in normal. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. <sighs> yes, save the changes down. Oh, shit! Yeah, you can see the difference. Anyway, let's go to landscape. Uh, we want to 
paint. Now the three materials are going to be loaded. Now you're seeing this red circle because the weight is set to none. Uh, so we want to add that. We want to create a new layer info. You want to weight blend. And it'll automatically make a folder for it. If you want, you can just add a, uh, save it to a specific section. I really don't care. Like, I'm just going to pl pl plug it into there and just hit save. And look at that. We have our grass. And then we do the same thing here. And the same thing here. Oh, did I click? Same thing here. Hey! Hey! You. Same thing. Now, if we want to, now if we want to like change any of them, what you, if you want to like, I'll start with ground because we need to have an actual plane or rather a ground where we can have our little village. So I'll just plug, plug it in here. If you want, you can make the brush size small, the brush size smaller, like over here, and then if you want to change the brush type, you can. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it at, um, what the hell was that? What? This? You can, you can paint it as an entire grid, it takes up the entire grid space. Ow! Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it at that, I'm just going to paint, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, doing that. Ugh. Now let's say if I make a mistake here, you can use Control Z, but if you want, you just like like, you know, I'm gonna paint it like this instead. I have different grass. Why? Well, I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just saying. You, if you have, if you want, you can do that. So there's the, so there's that. And well, that's mainly it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's it. That's that's all of this tutorial. Yeah, and the next one I'll just add a body of water. So that means we're going to have to edit the height map. Or edit, not edit the height map, just... Um, shoot, what was I going to say? Funnel cake. God! Dog dicks! Like, we'll, we'll have... We'll, we'll screw around with some of the stuff. Like, we'll add a... We'll have splines. And then I'll do NPC pathing, um, and then I'll probably just do um, uh, how you can talk to NPCs. But yeah, that's that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, in the meantime, let me show. Uh, let me go to fantasy stuff. This is not much, really. Oh, I'll just show what the uh, what the character can do right now. He's looking down. He can punch, but the thing is, I have the layer blending thing working. So, if I hit Z. What the fuck? Yeah. And, where's the character? Control E. So I can open this up. Uh, where is the Z key? Oh, right, T. You have to hit T. Wait, what? So if I get hit, like, lightly, that's what's gonna happen. If I hit Z, that's what's gonna happen. We have to do move sets too. And he's talking to me about, like, wanting to do VR, and I'm like, Ugh! Let me go to farmhouse. Come on, load. This is a barn, obviously. Holy crap, man. Essentially, this is where the first player, well, first player, the first level takes place. Uh, this is actually going to be remodeled. This has to be redone completely. Because, um, I was, I was using, um, Blender's Ar Arch Mesh, and it didn't come out as well as I'd hoped. So I'm gonna, luckily we have someone that'll redo the farmhouse for me. Uh, this is where the first level takes place, not the tutorial, the tutorial is something else. Let me go to forest stage. I hope that particle 
pretty sure that Niagara particle. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. The, the, the Niagara particle. Yeah. You're actually like dead Niagara. Yeah. <laughs> dead Niagara. That sounds like that sounds dirty. And this is another stage that he wants done. Essentially, you're gonna have you want to go to where the light is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You can see you can see the light. I made it. I made sure that you could see that light at the very least. You're like, okay, what the hell is that? So you have to go. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the starting point for the player is, though. I think it's the. I think it's right. It should be right here. No, that's that's a key. That's a key area. I believe it's another key area. Should be. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's here. Yeah, because you can see the light, and you want to go to that light. Forest trail, like you're seeing the forest trail, and yeah, I still have to have a body of water because it's impossible. Like this is gonna be like a little body of water. Finally get here, and then you know, that's something I've been doing for my boss. But I've been more concentrated on insane heroes at the very least. I'll show that off. Insane heroes. Ugh. I need a smoke going. Mm. Oh god, the Trigun Stampede episode. The, the, what did they what did they do with my Vash? Is it bad? I heard it's bad, but I don't I'm not gonna I mean I haven't worked up the nerve to watch the Trigun, Trigun Stampede yet. That's something I've been thinking about. But, like, after what they did with Velma... Ugh. And they're having a season two. Velma's getting a season two! Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm going... Hey! Hey! Insane Heroes! You better load! Mm. <sighs> Why didn't you showcase this when you were sniping low tier gods stream? Yeah, I didn't upload those. I really don't like low tier god. Uh, I'll do I'll do death TV siege one. Uh, like a little play like a play, blah, 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 like a little player showcase. Let's play. Obviously, um, I'm gonna have it so that way. Um, I'm gonna have it so that way the commentators of Death TV will come back. You gotta shoot this zombie in the head, or else it will just keep coming at you. Those are just the zombies. No, the, the the dudes return, but I won't show those off yet. I'm just gonna have the zombie dogs come at me. But that's about it. <sighs> That's it? No. So recent levels of oil stage. And I'll show off Von Trappenstein's stage. <sighs> and his evil lair. But the meat and potatoes has been going into this open uh, the the open world. Oh god, I gotta I I gotta tell them about the update. What update? Um Cause I got the scaling wrong, so I have to like resize a ton of the buildings. And since I'm going the full Breath of the Wild slash Hellpoint route, the they're going to they're going to be forced to explore 
I'll just have like those locations have like I don't know some particles telling them uh, uh, that hey that looks like a point of interest. It's not even gonna be a fucking map. I mean, there's gonna be one for sale eventually. Just is it gonna be in the demo? Nope. Really? Yeah, no. Cause it's, well, to be fair, this is this is the only part of the uh, game that they can the demo. This is the only part of the game that they can explore. I mean, it's not just the buildings that I've been working on. One of the things I have to like uh, have been like diligent on is that the vehicle AI. Because God knows I hate the vehicle AI so much. Why don't you just buy the plugin? Easier said than done. What do they collide with? Uh, there's still some collision issues that I gotta fix. Which sucks. And this guy's gonna fuck up on the turning, isn't he? Yep, yep. Fucks up on the turn. There's no one in it. Shit, I gotta fix that too. Well, I'll just have it so that there's a rando, like, player skeleton or but whatever. But yeah, at the very least, I gotta fine tune that up. I was blindly focusing. On. Wait. What? That outline. Oh, yeah. So, this is what I was all like. Okay, there's still some collision issues. So, I'm viewing it. So, I'm viewing the collision boxes for everything. And, yeah. But, like, this is a place you can go to eventually when you. Uh, to buy cars. This gas station will help because you'll actually. I'm thinking of putting in a gas meter, but, like, I'm probably gonna steer uh, veer away from it. This is a spot that, like, if anything happens to your car, like, you're, it'll be towed to here, and you gotta, like, pay to fix it or whatever. And the player doesn't have an apartment to live in because he lives in the RV, so if you want, you can find this random open house to squat in. I think there's another one somewhere else. I'm trying to remember where. Oh, yeah, there it is. In here. I just have to put, like, stuff in here. And then... Like, here's your costume... Like, here's your weapon shop. You can use its teleporter to go to any other spot. There's only gonna be one teleporter per, like, area. Same goes with, the um, Same goes with this spot. Like, there'll be, like, when I get to horse horse ship park, there'll be, like, one and one, and then, like, here. I don't know why, but I, I, I was like, I'm gonna put in a diner, but I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this diner. You don't? Nah. Still don't know what to do with it. But yeah. This is what I've been working on. I got the scaling kind of wrong, so, like, the buildings have to be rescaled again. And that's why, like, a lot of the map doesn't have, like, a lot of shit in it. So I still have to populate this with buildings and what have you. Construction site, etc., etc. Ugh. God, I hate... I hate sandboxes. You have to do it. I know. But that was back when I had, like, a ton of shit for my, from my previous laptop before it died. And I'm like, oh... And, like, a bunch of people were trolling me when I when I said that my laptop had died. They were like, oh, yeah, next time invest in GitHub, dumbass. I'm like, yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> but, yeah. Let me go, um, let me go to Von Trappenstein's stage. Because uh, that stage is done, too. I believe. Where is I going to put another floor? I don't think I was going to put in another floor. <coughs> no, no. What the hell? What the fuck? No, the the textures are compiling. The shaders are compiling. So, uh, I still have to add the. You should. Yeah, this thing should be textured too. Why is the collision so wonky? So gonky? Oh, that's mainly because I didn't... Alright, I'll put auto... I'll make sure... Okay. I'll take care of that now. Ugh. Oh my goodness. 
Well, at the very least, they understand what the hell I'm talking about when I'm saying, like, yeah, I gotta do this, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. For my, bo oh, for my, bo oh, for my boss, and all that nonsense. <sighs> Let's make sure your complex as simple. There we go. There you go. So the collision's not as wonky. The shaders have to compile. There's still stuff I gotta put in. So, yeah, this is the second warehouse. Let's go to the first warehouse. So here's where you... There isn't an... Yeah, I don't think I was gonna put in another floor. Yeah, I wasn't gonna put in another floor. Um, so essentially, you're gonna, you're gonna spawn somewhere within, like, here. You could... Because, like, one of the robots, uh, they will explode and they'll drop a gun. You could go find it. Or you could run. But the thing is, when you start to run, that's when the, um, Transformer bot dude comes in. What was that? That big robot, that giant-ass robot with the hammer you saw on the test stage. Ah. So you got so you could do that, or like like I said, you can explore the level a bit, grab a gun, defend yourself. Grab a gun, defend yourself. There's some hidden goodies, like uh, if you go upstairs, you'll find you'll find a set of keys. So you could take one of these cars and drive it to and drive it to here. Technically speaking, you have to drive it behind this thing. Because you have to go in, I believe it's in here, the power cell? Yeah. You grab, you grab this power cell, so that way you can actually op uh, get into this giant robot and fight the Transformer bot dude. That's that level's boss, and then you can go, and then from there, it transitions to um, the evil layer stage. Which... I think I showcased already. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I did. Did a previous Death Diary episode. What's with the bots? Why do they have shields? Um, yeah, you have to kill the shield before you can kill the bots. Oh, fuck yeah. It's just that. Uh, and then fight your way up to here, Von Trapp, where Von Trappenstein will await you. You're gonna have to destroy these generators in order to get at him. That's Von Trappenstein? Yes. Why does he look like Dr. Dr. Robotnik? But, like, yeah, no. Like, we, we, like, we're gonna say it kinda looks like Dr. Robotnik. But, like, like I said, all of the Dr. Robotnik sages in, uh, the 2D Sonic games, they were just... Mm, None of them were really good, so I'm just gonna stick to him being stationary. You're not gonna have a Dr. Robotnik thing? I might, but... In all honesty, probably not. Cause just, the, the, none of the good, they weren't good. None of the Robotnik stages were good. That's the problem. Yeah, this is what I got so far. But I've been mainly focusing on the on the city itself. Mainly focusing on the overworld stage. So wait, what's stopping you from basically saying early access? <sighs> Technically speaking, nothing. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to release this and say it's early access, but I don't want to hide behind the early access card. But then again. The demo's taking so much, so much, so, blah, 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 so long, and there's no way I can finish it before I can before my birthday. So I like, so I can. Blah, 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 blah. So all I need to do is try to fucking English. But um, uh, God, I cannot English right now. <laughs> Buy that sticker on Tyler's website, people. Anyway, but um, honestly, I don't want to do early access. Because uh, Ben Yancey Khrushchev, Zero Punctuation, said it best. Oh, play this, ga play this game when it's at its shittiest, you know what I mean? Well, how will you handle the... Well, because one thing I was wondering is how you're going to handle, like, the lag. If there is going to lag. If, is there going to be any, like, won't there be lag? Because you're going to have everything rendered. 
Yeah, no, um, how the buildings themselves work. So, the, these buildings, with the exception of the important stuff, like the, the car shop, the, the, this thing, etc., etc., their blueprint, okay, here's one of the ways you can get away with, uh, with that is all the buildings, they're part, they're, they, they, blah, 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 blah. Jesus, Doug, fucking English. They're all essentially, they're, with the exception of a few, a lot of them are, they all, they're blueprint actors. All of them. It's, well, not all of them. This isn't a blueprint actor. Um, I think the hospital's not one either. It's just a, they're, it's just a mesh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, the hospital's a blueprint actor. So, how blueprint actors, how the blueprint actors are going to work, you see where it says visible? I'm going to have to fuck with this, with this number, because if... If you're within a certain distance, render. Otherwise, stay stay invisible. And it kind of works right now because. But the only reason why it doesn't work, uh, mainly, is because it's a big ten thousand units away is not that much for Unreal space. So, see what I mean? Oh shit! The buildings are populating. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to like, f like I said, I'm gonna have to fuck with a lot of the numbers here. Like the skyscrapers that you see, they're they're obviously gonna have to have their own thing. Was it always this? It wasn't this laggy. No, it wasn't. Even when I was testing it before him. Um, but you see what I mean. I'm gonna have to like fine tune a lot of this, a lot of these numbers. Mm. Ironically. I wasn't, I let go of the, I had, I did not, like, I did not W key, like, I let go of the W key, like, five seconds, like, 20 seconds ago, so there's obviously, there's still some, uh, it's not an in, input lag, but anyway, hold on, let me try, let me, let me hit, escape out of this, let me try this again. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fuck with a lot of these numbers because um, the lag is still there. The lag is still there. And then to populate, I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I have to fucking um, I have to uh, shit. What was, I, what was I gonna say? <sighs> the NPCs. Yeah, the the NPCs. They have to have. They have to have a lot. They're, so you see the you see why I don't want to release this as early access because it's it's still very much, very much, very much. Yeah, yeah. It still it it still needs a lot more time in the oven. It's, yeah, so it has a lot more time in the oven. And, um, yeah. But at the very least, they see this, the progress that's being made, rather than me saying the progress. <sighs> that there's still so much work to be done. The problem is, the building population. Holy crap, do I need more buildings. We found another guy who, who's, who's working on that too, but good lord, making buildings, and I gotta do all, I gotta make sure everything runs smoothly, uh -huh. in either case, wait, you still, oh, that's why there was so much lag, what are you talking about, still calculating the goddamn shaders, for what, um, I'm guessing it was Von Trappenstein's stage and the other two stages, well, the other, the evil lair and the uh, and von Trappenstein stage. Mm. 
Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why there's so much lag. Because it's still calculating the fucking shaders. You want to try again? I mean, there's no point, but okay. I don't think it's going to run smoothly. Oh. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> it was running smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> fucking calculating shaders. But, like, hold on. Where's the door to this place? Yeah, you see what I mean? Oh, God. I just escaped the scale. Yeah, I know. I got the scaling wrong, so I have to rescale a lot of this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Damn it. Even this place? Oh, that's another spot you can go into. I guess. I mean, well, yeah. It's, you can squat. Just in case, if you don't have any, if you don't have the money. So how will you be able to make money? Go to Death TV. Ah, yeah. Uh, you go to Death TV and you you um you go to Death TV. So is the sandbox gonna be token? No, I took a long hard look at the way Cyberpunk did their um, NCPD radio things, and we'll have like random robbers. You'll have the occasional giant monster, giant robot show up, and you can't really do much because you're right now you're in a shitty RV and you only have a pistol, an infinitely shooting revolver, and a uh, and your two-handed assault rifle, and a bat. So. You can, for instance, not not now, not in the, nor in the demo, because that's, I can tell you right now, that's not going to be in the demo. Uh, you can go to this weapon shop, buy an RPG, and since it's infinite, or you can, like, eventually go in here, buy the strength suit. What suits can you buy? Um, I'll, go, I'll go back into... I'll go to test stage. Wow, your computer's working overtime. Mm. That's mainly because it, it didn't... See, here's what happens when you don't load a stage for, like, forever, people. Uh, the game takes extra long to compile those shaders because eventually it took all, that, all of that stored memory and just dumped it. So, it takes extra long to render those, to, to render the shaders and shit. But the test stage, it'll be fine. Alright, so... Let's go to the player character. I said let's go to the... Hey! Player character! Generic hero! Uh, no, not weapon stance. Costume stance. One. Because this costume you find in Death TV. Oh wait, no you don't. This is the, this is the knight. This is the souls guy. Someone that's going to be... But, like... Oh my god. Yeah, I have to replace the skeleton. Why? Look. What happened? I, it's the player. It's the skeleton itself. I don't know what the fuck that's about. And why is that? Ro wow, that giant robot is coming at you. Yes, or rather, it was. Uh, is it two? SWAT guy. Oh wait, I don't think I have anything for, um... Uh, I don't think I have anything for SWAT guy, uh, the damage table set up for this, uh, the, the bot dude yet. I'll switch the fire mode. What? Yeah. <laughs> the CPU switches fire modes. Hold on, would you... What the fuck?! <laughs> You think that's weird? Okay, let me go to shotgun. I think that's I think shotgun's two. Oh no, it's the battle rifle. Switch fire modes. Shotgun. Uh 
I think this is gonna be loud, so be careful. Yep. Wait. What? Um. Is it? costume. Yeah, the vampire dude. Fly. I'm not gonna show off the the cat the, the magical cats that this guy has. Or any of them. Well, it, with the exception of the SWAT dude. You saw the SWAT dude, but you only saw the first three magical casts. Wait, what are you talking about? Magical wait, what casts? Oh, you saw him! This saw the the, uh, the SWAT dude can like he has his, he he switches he switches between Uzi, he has the Uzi shotgun and battle rifle. You saw those three magical casks. And he toggles the fire mode. Wait, what are the controls? <laughs> all you're going to see for the controls, in all honesty, is cast 1, cast 2, cast 3, cast 4, hidden skill 1, hidden skill 2, hidden skill 3, hidden skill 4, and hidden skill 5. Then was keys what shift does, what spacebar does. What does spacebar do? Some characters can jump, others can dodge roll. Some characters can fly, others not so much. For instance, the vamp, the vampire dude, I haven't set that up yet because in all honesty, I'm, I was just, my priorities were, um, were, my priorities were getting the overworld set and done. But when he hits spacebar, he doesn't jump or 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 he just teleports. Where? <laughs> Where indeed? I just teleport. In all honesty, he just teleports like um, I want to say like <coughs> that. This. <laughs> but like I said, in all honesty, that's not a high priority on my list. <laughs> just wherever he's facing. He's gonna teleport. He's gonna. It's think of it like the blink teleport. That's about it. <sighs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've just been working nonstop on the on that. And, I'm, and this tutorial took a huge, <laughs> huge. <laughs> End it here, narrator. And there you have it, uh, game developers. Tune in. Are you going to do another damn diary? When I feel like I want to showcase something, then yes. Tune in next time for... Wait, what's next week again? Uh, Landscape Part 2. Okay, tune in next... When is this going out? Mm. Fuck. I can't do Friday, because that's Zen 3 videos. Monday has to be Robert's Rants and God of War. Tuesday... Uh, is, um, so it'll be either Tuesday, actually Tuesday is probably the best time slot because Wednesday's bi-weekly slab lounge and hell point. Mm. Wanna make the tutorials bi-weekly? But like, uh, but I'd appreciate the like, comment, and subscribe, and you would understand. I'm, uh, I'm just happy I didn't get a lot of hate my way because I had to prioritize game development. But I hope, but like at the very least, they understand, or at least kind of see things through my perspective. And there you have it. Tune in. What, so I'm guessing Tuesday, Tuesday, next Tuesday for uh, Doug teaches UE5.